all right what's up guys joji tbd here and today we got a new type of video we're going to be trying out and it's chris hansen to catch a predator what else can i say about it this one's specifically called the newlywed predator now let's watch this dude probably go to jail now let's go ahead and watch this weirdo embarrass himself right on television we didn't expect a warning some of what you are about to see and hear is explicit here's chris hansen well i gotta tell you something Oral first. I love oral. Wanna meet up, baby? So have you ever been touching your legs, your breasts, slowly? I'd tear your little up. I wish you was here to play with my Hon, would you like to take me in your mouth? And Ew, bro. I don't get how you can be a grown man and just say that stuff to like a little kid that she thinks a little kid. It's really disturbing. Like this isn't the middle ages where people are marrying off their cousins and dating 13 year olds or marrying 13 year olds. That's worse. That's just gross, dude. I hope they tase him. Parade of potential predators continues here in Murphy, Texas. This man's a newlywed. Do you want to drink or something like a soda? Another man <laughs> tries to run from police. Oh my god. Here we go, somebody. Just got down the door. Things happened during our Texas investigation that you'd think would discourage potential predators from showing up at our undercover house to meet young teens for sex. Bro, they're weirdos. They don't care. I don't even know how you can be like these old men and like think that you're talking to a little kid. Like, like you actually got to be pretty stupid to, to think anybody that you're talking to is real. You ever watch Dateline NBC? Yes. Things we've seen before, yeah. <laughs> like men who know all about Dateline's internet predator investigation. So you know what's going on here. Right. Do you like the show? Yeah, it's a pretty good show. Pretty good show. But how about this to scare off potential predators? Angry neighbors who discover our operation and organize a demonstration outside our house, parading down the street. Neighbors are taking pictures out there. If that isn't enough to keep men away, what? it's election time. <laughs> and potential predators could have easily seen campaign ads running continuously for the lieutenant governor and Texas attorney general promising to crack down on what? internet predators. Abbott's law enforcement officers arrested over 500 sex offenders. But despite all those warnings, potential predators keep showing up. This is one of the men who has seen our... Yeah. I can tell they're doing this just so that they can't use this excuse about entrapment. This is uh, every single bit of what they're about to get is what they deserve. And every single bit of time in prison, they deserve to predators that mess with little kids when they get to prison. Those are the ones that get it the worst investigations before online calling himself rock and roll rule 0281. He talks about to catch a predator. They caught a lot of guys, though. What did they do? Same thing I'm doing talking to a girl your age and going over to the young girl's house to have sex with the girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> how did they catch him? The camera crew was there in the house when the guys got there. Oh, hey. Come on in. Oh my God. How was your drive? Okay. He's 33-year-old Patrick Parr. He thinks he's here to take the virginity of a girl who told him she's 14. Online, he starts a courtship with the decoy, Tanya Tex, first asking her to be his girlfriend, then moving Bro. on to what he wants to do to her sexually. He sends a photo of his genitals and seems especially interested Bro. in her giving him oral sex. He's also thrilled by the idea she's a virgin. Bro, like, grow up. It's disgusting. I don't know what that weird infatuation is, is that a girl has to be a virgin. Like, like this is probably one of his, like, weird perversions, too, that... It's a young, it's a young girl. That's just disgusting. I can't even imagine it. It's making me like feel icky. Like, do you see my face? It's cringing. Good that you have not had sex. Now I get a girl that has never been touched in a place I am going to touch. Bro. Incredibly, see, we find exactly out later he was disgusting. married just three weeks ago, about the same time he started chatting online with Tanya Tex. And yet, rock and roll rule 0281 <sighs> tells the decoy he considers himself the faithful type. Okay. I'm only a one lady person. Wow, that's cool. Now, why would I cheat on you, sweetie? Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> Guys do. Guess you're different. I try to be. Bruh. Bruh, she's, if she says she's 14, that's how you know that it's just a predatory behavior right there. Like, please let this dude get tased. Please. Drink or something like a soda? No. I'm fine. 
if he appears a bit puzzled, it's probably because online the yeah. perverted justice decoy had been using a photo of an Asian girl. Oh my god. He knows. He's caught. Hi. Hi. You don't like anything like your picture. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't look like her pictures because she's a trappy idiot. She coming? Hey, how are you? I'm doing fine. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. You knew what? <laughs> I knew it. Please have a seat. I knew this. How are you gonna say you knew it, bro? Uh, this dude's an idiot, bro. Look at Chris Hansen standing there like an absolute boss. That's a king right there. Predator, hunter, king. That's the hunter and king. Exactly what it was. I knew it. What did you think it was? Yeah, I'm out of here. He's well, out of here. Answer some questions. I knew what it was. I've got a very long uh, chat log here. Uh, I, know. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> then he also must know as he heads out the front yeah. door, police are waiting out front, ready to arrest him. He said, I know. Once he's taken to the station, the newlywed is. Damn, they didn't tase him. Sucks. Searched. The police find condoms in his pocket. Okay, let's go in here. Later, he's escorted into the. What was that? Was that a New York patty and a condom? The fuck? Let me see that. I don't know why I thought that looked like New York pa patty thing. Oh, I'm stupid. <sighs> At least that's more charges against him. Find condoms in his pocket. Okay, let's go in here. Later, he's escorted he's into hide the his face. It's not gonna work. Room, and after being read his rights, he's questioned by investigators who have a copy of his chat log. It's more than 200 pages long. So I know you guys got everything on me. I understand. Okay, oh, come down, sir. Oh, I'm, 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 just fine. I'm just trying to make it easy for you guys. Should never start talking to her. Why? Because you were 14. How'd you know that? Oh my that's god. That's what she said, and that's what it says on her profile. Okay. I knew I should have started talking to her. Bro, I'm really glad all these predators are like absolute idiots because he probably would get less time if he just asked for an attorney and just kept his mouth shut. But you know what? I'm not complaining because I love that they're idiots. More time for their prison boyfriends to get them. I just said she was beautiful. That's all I said. Okay. That's what it started out. It started out. Yeah. How did it end up? Not very good. Because you're talking about having anal sex with her? Yeah. Oral oh sex with her? Yes. It's really bad. Despite admitting to what he did online, Rock and Roll Rule no, 0281 claims it was all just talk. I know why you went over there tonight. And you know why you went over there. Uh, honest, I mean, yeah, that was a thought, but... Well, guess, it was more than a thought. Yeah, I, I talk a lot. I really well, you talk. do more than talk. Yeah, I show stuff and I shouldn't have... That's. You told him you were going to come over tonight, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, I did obviously, that. Obviously did that. Yeah, right? but I, I just wanted to see her. I didn't want to... Because I'm not that pushy. Talks about having mm -hmm. your in her mouth. Yes. And oh, you're so on stupid. Her knees. Mm -hmm. And talking to her as a slave. Yes. Like I said, I don't know what would have happened. Because I would probably came over here and I would have probably backed out. Like, it's not good to make fun of people, but there's certain people that, you know, you just don't, you don't have to hold back on. You can, you can say whatever you want about them because they absolutely deserve it. They need to be taught a lesson. Like, seriously, this dude looks like a slightly normalist dude. And I don't know if somebody would guess that he's a, uh, some type of predator. So, so people need to know that no matter what you look like, that there's more than to what meets the eyes, basically. Getting out of that truck and walking up to that door and going to that house. Yeah, I was thinking of I was yeah, the whole time I was that you went for far about beyond. Yeah, I understand. Okay. I understand. But will his new wife understand? The thirty three year old is brought before oh Judge Kathy Hayden. I've set your bail at fifty thousand dollars. I hope you didn't enjoy what he did, particularly in the video, but I hope you enjoyed watching him get sent to jail knowing he's off the street and there's kids safe that he's not there. But if you enjoyed the video, go ahead, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I try to post whenever I can. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.